Hi, my name is John Gibbons and I'm a sports osteopath and this is Nick Jones who's an osteopath in the clinic. And today we're going to demonstrate a very quick assessment of the lumbar spine and then utilise a muscle energy technique and a high velocity thrust which is known as a grade 5 manipulation if you train more so on the physiotherapy side. If you're an osteopath and chiropractor then it's known as a HVT, so a high velocity thrust with a low amplitude technique. And what we're going to do first of all is, is assess for L5 and S1, and then L4 and L5, maybe L3 and L2. And then we're basically looking for motion. And the idea would be that we use the, the hips and the legs to facilitate a flexion and extension. And if we decide that is a facet joint that is restricted, as in maybe I'm a fixed in a closed position, or I'm a fixed in an open position, then the next technique uh, could work very well. But let's uh, run through the assessment. Nick, can you lie on your side for please? So he's on his side, we adjust the couch so it's not too low or too high, um, that would work very well. I don't need to expose too much, just the lumbar spine. What I'm going to do is bend his knees to 90 degrees, I'm going to hook under and I'm just going to bring him towards the end of the, the couch and hold on to both his feet and his knees are going to sit on my left hip area or my warmer quads rather than my hip joint. And then what we're going to do is literally perform a movement where we flex and extend the hips. And you might notice that the, the lower lumbar is actually flexing. So when we're in this position, the facet joints will be opened. And then when we are extending, the facet joints are in a relative closing position. And so I'm going to find the PSIS, and I will take it to S2. Come on to, there's L5 and S1, just make sure I'm right there. There's L5 and S1. So I can feel the movement. So there's a movement of... L5, a lumbar fifth vertebra and the first sacral segment. And I'm going to come up four and five. And I'm going to come up onto three and four. Three and four is a little bit stiffer. And so is L4, five. L5, S1 relatively mobile. So I'm going to look at four and five. Now, what we're going to do now is from that position, I'm going to flex him, so pre-tension from below, using his hips. Nick, can you slowly straighten your left leg, please? Uh, sorry, the right, right leg. No. From there. Sometimes I get my left and right mixed up, but we're not all perfect. Put the foot into the crease of the knee. Maintain the position here. What I'm going to do now is palpate L3, and then I'm going to use his upper arm, and I'm slowly going to rotate him down to the level, Turn your head that way. This hand onto his wrist to stabilize. And then we go slightly lower. Hand through. And then we're going to find this five and one. And this four. I am going to literally roll him as if he's going to roll towards the floor. And this is a big key. Trying to rotate him using the forearm. You can use your hand if you want to. You can use the knee. I'm literally just going to use my forearm and just articulate. So I'm just feeling here. So this is feeling, and then this arm is doing. So I'm just going to use this arm just to, to encourage a mobilization technique here. To increase the, the process of the opening of facet on the left, let's say, I can use his knee. You and knee push up towards the ceiling, please. So he's pushing his knee about 20, 30% effort. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath. And as he breathes out, I use the knee as a mobilization tool, and that works very well. I can also use my knee on his knee, where I can increase the leverage. So now it might be more of a graded mo uh, mobility technique, rather than a grade one, two, it might be a three, four from that area. If I felt it needs a cavitation, then what I'm going to do is the thrust is down the long lever of the femur. And then I'm going to come over him and I'm going to roll him where I feel the pre-tension position. And then what we do, Nick, are you okay for me to do this? Yeah. Okay, so get permission from the patient before you think about doing this. And this technique is only uh, demonstrated for those uh, therapists who are appropriately qualified. Now take a small breath in, please. And as he breathes out, I'm going to roll him, I'm going to lock him, and then the thrust and then it cavitated just under my thumb. I think the noise was taken up by the, 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 the clicking the couch, I would say. And then from there, I would then 
bring him back to that position, add more on like the unravel him, and then we can, if we want to, bring the legs up and then retest to make sure that the mobility at that segment has improved. For further information, look on www.johngibbonsbodymaster.co.uk.